Um, okay, so today the butterfly uh, bouquet started and we are gonna be using this sweet tonight. So we're using the paper, which I love the paper. Um, yeah, we're actually not using the stamp set. Shocker, we will eventually. I have a new host code. This is my birthday month. It's my husband's birthday month. It's my daddy's birthday today. There's so many birthdays in our family in March. It's just crazy. So that's why I say birthday month because it's not just mine. It's like a ton of people in the family. So I'm doing two things from March 1st to the 15th. Um, my Chick Reward people, I know y'all love getting your free stamps and or free dies. Uh, so this for the next... For the 15 days, you can either get double chick rewards or you can participate in my host code program because some of y'all do go back and forth. As long as you don't use a host code on your order, you can use it for chick rewards. But anyway, so double chick rewards or um, if you use the host code, you're going to get two gifts. You're going to get the standard gift, which is I take the benefits for that code and I split them among everyone. So if there's like 28 people that order, all 28 people get the same gift. This month, or not this month, the, the 15 days, you're gonna also get this cute little mini tote that has a chick stand and a liquid glue in it, okay? So this is like a celebration for my birthday. And I do this every March. You guys can go back and look at last March and the March before. So it's not uncommon. Normally, this is celebration month too. So it's a little bit different because we're not having celebration in March. Okay, that's enough chit chat. So now we can get to making the project. Uh, I will get this information posted on my website. This is already over there on the sidebar, uh, but I didn't get this posted today. So I will do that tomorrow. Okay, so I wanna show you the paper really quick because it is so beautiful, both the A side and the B side. So um, there's the little name of it. So you, this is the uh, first pattern and that's the back side. Love it. And then this is the next pattern and that's the back side. Then we've got this pattern, and that's the back side. We're using this one tonight and this one. And then this pattern with this. Oh, I love these colors. These are Angie colors. And that side, and then this and that. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, so that's all the, all the paper. I ordered myself three packs of it because I like it so much. Yay, lots of people got their packages today. That's awesome. And lots of people are saying that they too have a have a birthday this month. There are a lot of March, March people. Okay, so here's the supplies. I have extras in case I mess up. I've gone ahead and cut these out. So we've got Daffodil Delight, and it measures, okay, let me get my cheat sheet. This measures 10 by six and a half. We have scraps of Whisper White, which I've already cut out. Um, yeah. And then our designer series paper that I did not cut out yet. I thought I did, but I was dreaming. I did not, so <laughs> we will do that now. So let's cut the paper. Actually, this one's not getting cut. This one we're gonna die cut, okay? This is the one we're going to cut. So we're gonna start with um, this. We're gonna cut this to measure, wait, let's start this one. I take it back. I'm gonna cut this to measure three and three eighths. So three and three eighths is the big mark after the three and a quarter, okay? So three and three eighths by two and seven eighths. We need another piece that measures the same side and then seven eighths, okay? So three and three eighths by seven eighths 
and three and three eighths by two and seven eighths. I don't think I cut that right. <laughs> Y'all are gonna be like, okay, let me see. Three and three eighths by two and seven eighths, that's right. And three and three eighths by seven eighths, that's right. Okay, the next one is gonna be, um, three and three eighths by one and seven eighths. Okay. And now we need seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And we need two of these. So the way I'm cutting this, um, you can get all of your pieces out of one sheet because we know we don't want to waste any of our designer series paper. Okay? Well, we can't get a hold of it. Okay, so here's all of our pieces. This is leftover. This is scrapped for a, another day. Now we're gonna take this one and we're gonna cut out the butterflies. So this is the set of dies. This is the stamp set that we're not using. <laughs> um, and we're gonna use this. And this lines up perfectly like that, and it cuts all those butterflies out. I love it so much. So I'm gonna get the stamping cut and emboss machine. Okay, I'm, I'm reading comments and I'm cracking up at the same time, okay. Grr, I've said okay like a thousand times already. I'm seriously gonna try so hard to stop saying that, but I've only been saying it for umpteen years. Okay, oh, God, I said it again, sorry. Okay. Maybe I should have to put a quarter in the jar every time I say it. I think I have too many on here. Yes, I got emailed and was told that it's a throwaway word and that I say it way too many times. And it's true, I do. But in my defense, it's just me. Okay, so here's all of our beautiful butterflies. My husband says the word, is it hum? Or, huh? He says something. He has a word, too, that he says a gazillion times when he's on the phone. Um, I bet everybody has a word, right? Now, I want to show you these again because they're so pretty. They look like stickers, especially when you cut them straight. Mine slid just a little bit. Now let's stamp. So the uh, Butterfly stamp set, Butterfly Brilliance, does not have any greetings with it. So you can pair it with any, um, any greeting that you want. So you are amazing. Um, I've used it before on another project. So that's what we're gonna use. Um, 
tonight, but use it with any greeting that you have. I'm going to use early espresso uh, because I felt like there was a little bit of espresso in here, but it could be black. It could be, it could be my eyes or not. <laughs> and I'm going to stamp this greeting two times. Um, this basic white piece is from the Hippo and Friends dies. But if you don't have this, you can just use the stitch shapes, okay? Huh, there we go again. Um, so I'm gonna stamp it. Oh, wait, let me get the Stampin' Mat. This stamp does prefer the Stampin' Mat. Ask me how I know. I can show you. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna stamp this in the middle. Yeah, when I stamped it earlier today, well, I think I tossed it. Okay, so let's give these time to dry. And now we're gonna set all this aside. We're not using any of these. We're just using these two littles. So we're gonna take our Daffodil Delight cardstock I'm going to place it on the Simply Scored scoring tool on the landscape side, which is the 10 inch side. And I'm going to score it at three, four, seven, and eight. And then I'm going to turn it on the portrait side. And I'm going to score it at a half an inch and one and a half. Turn it and, re and repeat that. So a half an inch and one and a half. Okay, so I'm folding on all the score lines. Now I'm going to burnish with my bone folder so that those score lines are crisp. I'm gonna go ahead and move these out of the way so that I don't lose them. I wanna use them for something. This is how it looks right now. So if I lay it down here, you can see that this section here is thicker than this section, okay? So, <laughs> so what I wanna tell you, so the shorter end is where we're going to round the corners, okay? So, yeah. So that means we're gonna remove all of this. So your template will have, have it for you. So once I get that posted on my website, you'll have it. Okay, so cut, cut. And then Now we're gonna do the same thing over here. Okay, now, I'm gonna remove all of that. So I'm not gonna talk, cause I don't wanna mess up. This one. Okay. 
There we go. So here's how it looks right now. We're gonna take the detailed trio punch and we're going to round Hey, I have to tell y'all a funny story. Um, so this weekend, well, not this weekend, it was yesterday. Um, <laughs> Brooke and I, we were in the kitchen and she said that when she was in high school, so we're talking about like 2011 or, um, yeah, like 2011 or 2010, she said she told this kid that, <laughs> I'm cracking up. She told this kid that her mom was a YouTube star. And um, so we're going to put our adhesive on these two tabs and on these tabs, okay? She, so she told this kid that um, her mom was a YouTube star. And so they went to my YouTube channel and they, and they watched my videos and they both laughed really, really hard. And, you know, back then... Well, they're 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 teenagers. What do you, what can you say? Um, so, <laughs> fast forward now, what eleven years, ten years? This guy is a big hit on YouTube and has like a, like a, a, like way more followers than I ever thought to have. So it's kind of funny that he laughed at me, and Brooke laughed too. I'm sure back then it was hilarious, but now he's racking up the dough with way more subscribers and followers than me. We had a good laugh about that last night. I was like, see, he looked at me and laughed, but then probably learned something. Okay, so this is gonna get added there. She never told me that back then either. What's crazy is that it's been, what, almost 10 years, and she's telling me that now? Like, why didn't you tell me when it was back then? I was talking to my dad today, and I said, I'm sorry, I can't remember how old you, <laughs> how old you are. And he's like, you can't remember how old I am? I'm like, no, Daddy, I can't remember how old I am. I've been telling everybody <laughs> for a whole year that I was 56 and I'm not. I'm 55. I'm fixing to turn 56. So it's like once you reach a, cer a certain age, what do they matter? <laughs> they all kind of run together, right? Um, yeah. So there's another little <laughs> funny for y'all. Yes. David did too. He's been telling everybody all year that he was 55 and he's 54. He'll be 55 in a couple weeks. <laughs> oh. You know, our, in our defense, we did move. We did build a house during COVID. So it's just another <laughs> another thing you can really laugh about. Okay. Now we need to that, that detailed trio punch again. This video is going to be very difficult to edit as I've done talking. <laughs> This is going to go up here. <laughs> That's funny, Deb. I just looked up and saw your comment. <laughs> oh, I like that. Age is only a number and mine is unlisted. That's good. Okay, I need a little bit more glue right here. I don't normally share my age on here because truthfully, thank goodness, a lot of people say I don't look my age, but then what exactly does my age look like? <laughs> yeah, I've become one of those people that hides her age. Okay, so this is gonna go up here. You can use the butterfly side if you want to, or you can use this side. It really doesn't matter. I'm gonna use the other one. Now 
now the sides. <laughs> you know, I feel like a child a lot of times. So I do a lot of childish things like playing Animal Crossing, playing video games with my kids, watching kids movies with my kids, even though they're adults now too. Yeah, I feel like I'm very childlike. My daddy is too. Okay. Oh, I said it again. Okay. Now, we need to add our closure to it. So I'm going to use my glue dots and those same. Hi, Bella Bella. She looks like a muskox right now. She missed her grooming appointment last time. So I'm going to use those same magnets. Um, you can use Velcro if you prefer. If you have someone in your house that has a heart issue or if you have littles that might eat it. Definitely use Velcro, Velcro dots. They work. I don't have any of those in my house, so not yet anyway. So I'm going to use magnets. Oh, wait, wrong way. Put it on there first and then add the glue dot. Okay, I'm going to shove these Oreos in there so that I can press on that to make the magnet stick, okay? Bella, are you reading paper? Okay, see? This is a little bit thick, so I'm gonna show you some items that will fit in here. So the little mini con bars, we get these at Sam's in a big bulk. Mmm, that looks good, I'm hungry. So that will fit in there, see? Then, I always have to show you that my little charm packs will fit in there also. Gum will fit in there. Mmm, a couple turtles will fit in there. Some hand sanitizer will fit in there along with a Burt's Bees and a Soft Lips. Yeah, and all kinds of candy. So that just gives you some examples. Now, remember how I told you that this is the one that we're using, but if you don't have the uh, hippo, um, if you don't have the hippo dies, you could use the circle. So let's do the ribbon first and then we'll do that. I'm using two ribbons, of course. I say, of course, because I've done this a lot this spring. But, you know, it goes with everything. White goes with everything, so why not? Yes, my thing came off. <laughs> okay, so make a bow up here at the top. Bella! She just had dinner not that long ago, but she's scurrying around trying to find some paper to eat. What you doing, honey? Okay. If these ribbons retire in a couple months, I'm going to be so sad. So, so, so sad. Yes, because I use them all the time. So remember I said you could use that if you want to and if you don't have the hippo dies and you would just put your butterflies here and here, okay? I'm going to stick with my hippo dies since I do have it. And I'm just going to put some liquid glue up here at the top and then place it right about there. I'm going to hold it for a second. Bella, they can hear you. 
I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of the butterflies. So we're gonna add this one up here. And this one down here. Now look what I did. I used the purple and blue pattern instead of the, um, well, let me show you this one. So see, I used, this paper coordinates with the butterflies. So technically I probably should have used, well, I should have used the other piece of the paper, but oh well, shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? So I'm gonna add a little bit of bling. One, two, and three. Okay, what do y'all think? Pretty cute, right? Hey, uh, will my chick stand fit? That is a really good question. Well, let's just open this thing up and see. I don't think it will because I think the chick stand is exactly uh, one inch as well. Yeah, it will. It's a little, it's a little pregnant. Let me take the plastic off. Yes, it'll fit perfectly. It, it kind of, it, it kind of poofs out a little, but still. Yeah, it fits. The chick stand fits. And if you need anything, uh, email me at helpdesk at chickenscratch.com. There's a lot on my desk, right? Very distracting. Okay, y'all have a great night. Thank you.